All right, what you see here is a Hunter Sea Air ceiling fan. I bought this from Tommy Bonin, and he had Metal P deliver it, deliver it to Fanimation. So when I met up with Metal P that Fanimation, I pick up this fan along with three other fans that I bought from Tommy Bonin a while back. Um, these three, um, what we were trying to do is find a way to get them to me without um, having to ship them since Tommy didn't really want to ship them at the same time. It would have cost me quite a bit to ship them out and stuff like that. Or to have them shipped, so since he goes to animation often, or well, Metal Pete does, um, we were trying to, last time during the, the August trip, we did try to see if we can get Metal Pete to do it for the fans, and um, but unfortunately, Metal Pete was was um, driving in with somebody else, he wasn't driving his own truck slash van, so um, yeah, we were gonna have him give them to Mark Wilson so Mark could um, bring him back over the summer, and that did not happen, so yeah. But it happened this time, so I'm glad to finally have this and the other two fans. And there's four other fans as well, but one of them I... Well, there's two of them that I, I'm pretty sure I can't protest. Without the, or one of them I can't protest for the time being because I'm, it's missing a shade. But um, I have somebody that's going to be sending me a replacement shade for it soon. So, um, yeah. And back to this fan. This fan was basically brand new from what Tommy told me that it had all the original instructions and stuff like that. The only thing is they just took it out of the box and put it on display at Habitat for so it could be sold. It was like thirty five bucks. Yeah, thirty five dollars is a bit um pricey for a hunter fan that's used. Well, this one was never used, so that's why I didn't mind um spending that much. And also, it's in Verde finish, so it's not often you see a fan in Verde, especially from Hunter. So that's why I got it. And that's why I sent him the money for it. But the finish on this fan is absolutely... I really like the finish on this fan a lot. And Tommy, you do, you're do. definitely right. It does have like a... The finish looks a lot like something you see in, on a, in a pool room. Back, it's not actually something I see quite a bit back when I was a little kid. On some older pools, they would have like a greenish looking flooring on it instead of a... Um, the bluish type that they use nowadays. So it does definitely run you to... Of a 90s swimming pool or jacuzzi, so I like, that is something that I like a lot. Here's the um, switch cap, it's pretty solid. So, um, and it has plastic blades. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it is from the 52nd week of 2001. Um, this is, I don't know when they just considered the, um, Verde finish, the white one they still make, but it's been redesigned. So I'm not too, I'm not a big fan of the new finish, or not the new finish, I'm the, of the new look. But I wasn't, I feel like they should have just made it the marine, the, scent, the sea breeze too. And there's the Hunter logo. Pretty solid fan, I really, I'm, I absolutely love this fan, this fan I really like a lot. So I'm Tommy, I really gotta thank you big time for getting this one and the other two fans. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and start off on no. Let me bring it closer. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and start off on no. Now from what I remember, he I think Tommy said that the um the what the white sea gear that he had went a bit faster. Um. But then again, this one was basically never used, so the bearings on this one might have not broken in yet. So I'll have to watch back that video of the white sea this is you'll be able to determine. Or else just test it with another white sea air to compare. So um yeah. There's a nice slow speed to it. Um this is definitely a fan I'm never gonna part with. Also, it took so long for me to actually get it, but um, yeah, it's definitely a fan I like a lot. I remember seeing the Verde Sierra along with the Wetter Brick one, or Carver Patina, I'm not sure, but um, I think it was Wetter Brick, and the um, White Sierra in the um, 2001 Hunter Special Award Catalog from Home Depot. Now, something I'd like to mention about the Sierra is I'm surprised that they actually had it around for such a long time, um, the white version that is. 
because they had the older style of school transit from the 90s. I'm surprised they didn't upgrade to the, the CR2 back in the early 2000s since it didn't look a bit dated by then. So, um, yeah. But regardless, they are one of my favorite Phantom Hunter since if you guys watch the videos, Phantom I don't see anymore part one. There's two of them in the white finish that are flush mounted and there's another one that's on a long down road that has the weights. The other, the wrong side, it has like the line in the center and it has like that farm white kit. That house, um, that was a house that I used to go to that was in front of my mom's that we, that we visit every now and then. And I love seeing the fans there. I don't think I've ever seen them running, but um, they were major childhood fans. And when he moved to young Florida, I was pretty upset that he, he left them behind. Whether they remain there now, I'm not sure, but at least I have a birdie one. And hopefully I sh should be getting a white one soon, who knows. Um, yeah, just playing around with a fan on one of the other fans I need to test it's on my bed. But I um, mean, yeah, it does move a good, it does move a good amount of air well, just like any other hunter fan mm -hmm. that I've tested so far. I'd like to put this one outside, but since it's for day, I, I wouldn't if I was going to start outside. I'd probably put a copper patina one. Because Verde is more of a unique finish, I like it a lot more. I ran up the outside where, even though this is meant for outdoor use, well, it could be outside. My, a white one would be fine as, outside as well, but it would start to you know, turn the other wish over a while, over the years and stuff like that. So I'd rather just put like a brownish looking one, not one that's green. Since it's also a very unique finish, so I'd rather preserve it, keep it in the best shape possible. But um, yeah. Yeah, it definitely has a nice little speed to it. This one, this actually could be my favorite fan out of the ones that I got from Fanimation that I, that's kind of, that's also the reason why I'm showing it first. All right, let me go ahead and show it on medium. It does have a bit of a hum to it, that is something I noticed. And I will be testing another one right after this, another fan, so... Yeah. This one should be very similar to the performance of this one. And the appearance, so that should give you guys a hint. Yeah, it was definitely a fun time at Fanimation, especially meeting Dan Newman, Dan Spiffy Newman to be exact, NLP, Brian, a fan of Fan17, Charles or Chanju Smith, slash Rule, and um, Donovan, aka Phantom Elevators, with Mr. Polchain, and a few others I can't remember right off the top of my head at the moment. But um, it was great meeting all of them. It was definitely a great time. I actually miss being there. Um, I can't believe it's already going to be about a week now that since I... Well, it's actually, it's actually going to be a week soon since we, um, me and Mark had... Well, it's already been a week since me and Mark have already had it had set out to um, Fanimation, so... But it feels like it's not... It feels like it was only a few days ago, not a week, but... So, um, yeah, I already do miss Fanimation. It was a great time. I would like to go to the January one, but that's going to be when I have classes, so I already kind of, I'd rather not do that again. I only did it this time, I went when I had classes, classes because I wanted to do it, I wanted to go for my birthday, so um, that was the only reason why I went. And then, if I go, whenever I do go again, I have to be during the time that I don't have classes. And it, it worked out in a way that I didn't have any tests, so that, I was going to stay another day longer on Wednesday and come back Thursday. And so they had a test that day that I couldn't miss, and nor could I make it up. I had to come back a day early, so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I've never seen a Verde one in person. I've seen the, um, Copper Patina one in person. I've seen the white ones in person, but I've never seen the Verde one in person. So this is actually my first time seeing it, the Verde one in person. Well, when I saw that Fanimation, that is. Well, me, I'm LP. If you're watching this, I do gotta thank you for bringing it. 
I will be sending you some money as a thank you from bringing a fan, even though um, I, I, I didn't buy them for me. I just want to, so it's my way of saying thanks. You didn't have to bring the three fans, but um, I really do appreciate it. All right, let me go ahead and move the fan up to high. It's actually moving pretty good on medium as well. Can you go maybe just like very very it does go very fast on high like all hundred or so I've tested oh it's actually moving the infinity it's very rare that a fan as many two inches makes the infinity move that I think this could be the first one but um it does go very fast but I don't know I feel like if the infinity goes a tiny bit faster but at the same time it's, I don't know it does go pretty fast I'll say that much. I don't know if your bearings are broken in or not, but it's kind of hard to tell. It does seem like they're broken in, actually. I don't know if Tommy um, ran a fan for 24 hours or ran it for, for a while. But, um, yeah, this is not going in the basement with the other fans. This one's staying up here because, it's a, one, it's a Hunter fan. Well, if it was, like, a coastal breeze, that would be going downstairs. So those are more common, but the more higher quality ones are staying up here. And as I get more better quality ones, some of the higher quality ones that are not as high quality as the newer ones that I should be getting in the future will be going downstairs as well. But this one, since it's 102, it's verde and I'm keeping that up here. Yeah, if only had it, they made a spot like kit like that, the bright brass one I got from Dan and Verde. I don't know if they made them in Verde. I know they made them in black, like that square shape one that's on, like that I have on the Infinity. Um, if they made one in Verde, that'd be a really neat, unique looking white kit. But they probably did make one. It is very rare. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it closer so you guys can hear the air movement. Shut it off. Put it on reverse and then we'll let, uh, let it spin down and I'll show it on reverse briefly. But um, yeah, this definitely looks like a fan I can pitch like at a hotel, like in a pool area. The finish will really go well in a pool area, so that is something. Either that or a white one. I feel like any finish will be sealed or great for a pool area in a hotel. But if you try, if you're, but like an older pool area would look good with this, I think. That has like verde-ish looking, four plastic stuff on the ground. Like, um, yeah, I do like it a lot. This thing, it's very nice looking. If I was to install this outside, or if I was to put a white kit on it, I want to put a spotlight kit on. Obviously, I would try to put like the Marina, Hunter Marina white kit, something like that, but in verde finish. I'm pretty sure it called cold style or something similar to that. I could just put maybe buy the white kit for that. Maybe if I can get it to fit on here, that is. But also, I do like it with just the switch caps, so. If I was to put a white kit like that, I'd probably put it on a white CR. Although, it's probably like it'll look pretty good on a white CR as well. Might have to try that one of these days. Um, yeah. Definitely one of my favorite hundred fans that they made back in the 90s. I am finally going to own 
a 31. And now I'm just going to get two more of them to finish off the collection of the Sea Years. And I'm trying to picture these weights on a white sea year. I'm trying to think if I honestly don't know how well that would work. I feel like it's a bit too dark for it to be on a white sea year, but who knows? I got you. I'll try it out one of these days. Alright, it's going to completely stop. Now let me go ahead and show it on reverse. Starting off with flow. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit for me to record all the fans I got. Um, I still need to record the two, and I have yet to record from Brandon T. Johnson. Um, I should be meeting up with him, I don't know when, but um, whenever I meet up with him again, I'll be getting a pizza from that. I should be getting a few more fans from him as well, so. Yeah. Starting to wrap up again on 2016, so the, the other fans that I mentioned when I got back, I mentioned I was getting a ton of them. Those going, I'm going to be probably getting by, by the beginning of the next year. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move up to medium. Best part about this is I can just take it apart and move on to the next van since I don't need to show it with and without a like it or show the other side of the blade since it's basically the blades are not reversible, they're the same on both sides. Maybe you don't have that little line going for the center, which I found a bit weird since the white here I know has that line in the center. Same thing with the um, gazebo plus that I have. Good on me, yeah, that's a very nice fan. I like this fan a lot. It does have a bit of a hum to it. I actually never had a hundred minute hums this much. Oh, the infinity does hum a bit, but um, I kind of find it a bit relaxing at night. So I don't really mind it. I mean, it's definitely a thing I'm glad to have in my collection. So I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. So I can end the video. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.